Yo, what's going on guys, Like here, and today I get you guys another amazing gameplay, this time you guys are watching my most kills in Black Ops 2, it's a 260 to 4 kill game, I was using the Vector with Fast Mags and Stock, and if you haven't tried this class out, like I said in my videos before, this is an amazing class, in my opinion this is the best class and the best gun in Black Ops 2, so if you haven't tried it, give it a go, it's really amazing, it just cuts through enemies like ham, and uh, that's pretty much what I go this game, ham. Um, I um I get 170 kills in the first round, and in the second round I get an amazing my most kills in the second round too. Well, not second round, but my most kills in one round, 143 kill round, which is also amazing. And um, you'll see part of the gameplay gets cut out. It only saves up to 248 to four or something like that. But I showed the scoreboard because I got the scoreboard because I was live streaming in this gameplay, and it was on Amp Clan because my friend Robot had to put on a stream delay, so it took him around 10 minutes. So I hopped on for about 30 or 40 minutes maybe an hour and I got two 200 pluses which is really inter ex crazy um um I got the 207 with the vector so that's kind of the same thing but then I got this amazing 260 to 4 and I would have probably beat the most kills I would have got like a 270 but I was two or three off my next escort drone then dogs and swarm and then this guy's session joined us and then he was like oh I'm gonna beast on these kids so I was killing him a couple times he jumps around the corner and drop shots me you guys will see it at the end of this gameplay it was the gayest death ever and I Frick, a kid's just so gay, and then the next game he starts messaging me, oh sorry man, I didn't mean to kill you off your swarm, oh man, sorry, I don't want to hear that shit, you're so gay, and then, and then after that, he freaking goes AFK the next game and like, be, becomes a dire, why would you do that, that makes no sense, that's just bad, that's worse than killing me, why would you want a dire in your gameplay, that's just stupid. So yeah, live stream was pretty exciting, and it's really fun. I'm going to start doing it on my own channel probably once a week. I didn't get to do it this, um, I might be doing it today, later on, for MW3, so come check it out. I'll put my Twitch in the description. I might be streaming by the time this video's up, who knows. So if you guys do come check me out, um, I, I want to try and hit 200 followers on there, that'd be pretty cool. I'm really close, and I wanted you guys to know that I got my second channel partnered by RPM, so I want all you guys to go subscribe to there. I will be uploading a mixture of gameplays, like Resistance 3, some Call of Duty gameplays, some funny stuff and then some naruto and maybe some other games if i buy some later on so go check that out i'm really close to 300 followers on 300 subs on that channel my bad and that's pretty much it and um hopefully after this game play i'll have 10k and i will be doing the vlog in like a week or two i'm not really too sure i just have to get around to it i gotta check if my phone camera the camera on my phone's good enough or something like that and that's um pretty much it about that and i uh, can't believe i'm close to 10k it's been crazy guys i did not expect to hit 10k this quick and that's just amazing 10,000 people have clicked subscribe on my youtube that's what i'm going to be saying in less than a day or maybe more who knows and hold on guys i just want to talk about something in my opinion, you, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know quicker than you if you've heard of him. He is like the best Black Ops 2 fan. I'm not trying to write on his dick or anything. But like, he was so underrated back then. And then he started doing these live comms. And he got this just insane gameplay. And then he started to get noticed. And I was like, back then I was like, how come he's not getting noticed or anything? But I just wanted to give him a little shout out. I'll put his channel in the description also. So go check him out. He freaking passed me up in subs like crazy. It's just insane. Well, he deserves to be at like 20k because the stuff he's posting. I mean, just go check his channel out. It's insane if you haven't heard of them and that's pretty much all I had to talk about and as you see in the title of this video it's called story time it's gonna be about how I started skateboarding I know I rambled on a little in the beginning but this is about how I started skateboarding and I'll jump into that right now basically it was around third grade when um, I started skateboarding and I was in school one day and I had w one of my friends he claims he was a skateboarder well he said he was really good at skating and everything and you know so you, when you're friends and you're little you always want to be like each other and stuff like that so I got a skateboard from <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh I got a skateboard from Toys R Us and I didn't even know if it was fake or not because I was a little randy back then but then um I found out it was fake like a year later or something but I was just skating I was just riding on the board and stuff like that didn't know how to do any tricks so it took me around like three or four months to finally do an ollie and stuff like that and I started to get good from there and I just took it from there and I I've been skating ever since. I know I I quit and stuff like that, but I've started back skating again. And something funny happened, and I'll come tell you guys in a second. But um, yeah, it's pretty much how I started skating. All my friends in my school said they were doing it, so I just decided why why not? Why shouldn't I do it? I should join them and stuff. It looks pretty fun, and um, that's pretty much how I started skating. And some friends in my neighborhood were also doing it. And then I used I used to go to the skate park a lot, and I just met some of my friends from there, and we've been friends ever since. We go a lot of places, skateboard and stuff like that. It's really fun, and uh, they're like 18. 
so we get to drive places and stuff. It's not like walking everywhere. Uh, it's pretty cool. So that's pretty much how I started skateboarding, and I've been skateboarding ever since. And then I took a little break, you know, COD, and I broke my wrist and everything. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard that. And then a funny story happened to me the other day. So basically, my cousin came down from Orlando, and I was going skateboarding. So I bought him along with my friends, and he doesn't skateboard. He plays basketball. So basically, there was a basketball court right next to the skate park. So I basically go, yeah, I'm going to go play basketball with him. So I go over there and start playing basketball with him. And then um, I put my skateboard down. You know, we start playing, and we're doing fine. And then uh, they start playing a game. So I go, you know, I'm not even going to play the game. So I just saw him start shooting the ball myself. And then I see the, I left my skateboard at the skate park like an idiot. And then I see these kids riding a skateboard. And I'm just like... Wait a minute, is that mine? So I run all the way back to the park. I see my board's not there. And then I just start hauling ass after the kids. And I don't know, man. I could not catch them because they were going so fucking fast. I was like, hey, motherfucker. I was screaming at their ass. And they would not turn around. That's how I knew they took my shit. They were just going so fast. And then they turned a corner. I turned them. I kept seeing them. And then they turned another corner. And I think they went inside a house or something. They just lost me. And since I'm running, you know, I'm basically not going to be able to catch up to them because I'm kind of out of, not out of weight. <laughs> But that didn't even make sense. I'm kind of out of shape. I'm not fat or anything. I'm like 94 pounds, 5 feet tall. It's just I don't really do sports or anything. I'm just lazy sitting on my couch all day. Not couch, but my chair all day. And I don't do anything really. And uh, I was kind of out of breath. And it just took a while. I couldn't catch up to them. So my friends helped me. We looked for them around 30 minutes. And we stayed at the park for around two more hours to see if they would come back, but they never did. And it was just so funny. I, I wasn't even mad or anything. I was just laughing my ass off about my skateboard got robbed. I was just like, oh my god. It was so funny. And I get them back to the skate park, and these guys were like, yo, your skateboard got robbed? I was like, yeah, man. And they were like, these little ass kids took it. I was like, what? Because when I saw them from the back, they weren't really that little. They were like my size, maybe a little bigger. I was like, no fucking way, man. I was so mad. It was so funny. I was just like, I don't even care. So I'm probably going to get a skateboard in the week from now something like that a brand new which i i need a brand new complete anyway because my old one's pretty bad and freaking messed up but um that's pretty much it about that story i hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay we're coming up to an end here the gameplay is around eight minutes or so so i'm just gonna ramble on a little bit at the end and um guys the 300 plus is really crazy i almost got at this game and i would have had it man but i just you for the 300 plus you have to play so perfect it's not even funny like what i'm thinking in my head like not well, I'm thinking, not, not like tips. I'll give tips sooner and a different commentary and stuff like that. But um, what I'm thinking for 300 plus, what you have to do is basically it probably has to be raid. And um, what I'm thinking is you're gonna have to run to B and get like a four or five man on B, and then probably cap it. I don't know, you might not have to. Just get like a five man on B, and then run to C, cap C, call your dogs and escort drone and get your swarm before like. 10 points you have to have like 20 or 15 kills and then get that first v set up really really quick also and then just start going ham you need like 50 kills by 20 points and then you need like 130 like you need 120 plus kills in the first round and you need to have your streaks ready to go in the second round like not many people can leave and if they do leave they have to join back really quick and that's pretty much what i think you have to get to 300 plus and it has to be like a perfect game you can't really die you can only die like two times that's pretty much it i hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay um fun scores 260 to 4 my most skills ever hope you guys do enjoy let's try and get 150 likes on this video i'd really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out guys like you